So let's begin with our project and specifications window. And you can see the window is divided into two halves. On the right hand side, we see all of our projects in a very standard grid or a spreadsheet format. While on the left hand side, we see the same information in sort of a tree structure. Let's focus a moment on the tree structure because it really shows the overall hierarchy in Design Manager. And what do I mean by that? Well, first we, be, we begin at the top with our company, our Vita Nova Designs in our case. And beneath that we see all of our active projects for our company at this point. And right now we have two projects, both for the same client, the Carters. We have their Pennington home and we have their Bernadine Beach home. Beneath a particular project we can see the locations within that project. And in Design Manager, locations can be conceptual locations such as design time, reimbursable expenses, or even freight or shipping. But more traditionally, it'll be physical or actual locations such as the master bedroom or wine cellar as we have in the Pennington home. Beneath a given location, we can see all of the items that we're providing for the carters that are within that location. So we have our California King bed, armchairs, side tables, etc. Each of our individual items that we're providing to the carters can also be further broken down into its constituent components. Well, these are the pieces that we're going to be buying from our, uh, our various vendors and then encompassing as a single item to our, uh, our client. So we can see that the California King bed has a headboard, we have some freight for the headboard, and we have the mattress. So we have three components that we're buying from different vendors, all for a single item that we're providing to the carters. Now, let's take a look at our Carter's Pennington home to see some of the information that's shown on the project itself. So we can go ahead and edit the project with the edit button, or as I like to do, right click and select edit, which brings us to the project window. And as I said at the beginning, a lot of the information on the project is basically your contact and address information. So we have our client of Eric and Joanne Carter, we have our project code, we have our project name, Carter Pennington Home, we have our billing address, we can even input an overall a project budget if desired, if we'd like to track that information. We further have additional addresses such as the site address. Very often the site address might be the same as the billing address, but it certainly could be differently in many uh, circumstances. And we also have a ship to address or a default shipping address as well. We also have our sales tax code, which Design Manager utilizes to determine how much sales tax, if applicable, is going to be charged to the client. On our defaults tab, we have some of those settings or customizations that I was referring to. We have our purchase order side mark. We have our purchase order designer or extension, so the vendors know who uh, to contact at our company about particular orders for this project. We can input a client deposit percentage. Uh, in other words, how much, how much will we be asking for the carters to provide uh, on a proposal in order to uh, make it an official contract. We can even enter in some uh, client invoice terms, such as due upon receipt. Next, we can enter in some additional notes and information, additional phone numbers, cell phone numbers, work numbers, etc. The uh, client's email address, which is uh, quite convenient if we're going to be emailing proposals or invoices to our client. If it's a commercial project, we may even have the website entered in. And then any notes that pertain to the project itself. And all of the information in the note field is entirely for our benefit. The client will never see that unless so, uh, unless so desired. And lastly, we even have a status tab. And as our project moves through the design cycle, we can see a lot of our accounting transactions here uh, listed for our reference, such as all of our deposits and retainers along our top grid, available amounts of those figures. We can see all the invoices and their payment information, along with uh, gross total information and overall accounts receivable for the project as well. So the project window has lots of information in it, primarily our contact and address information for our client, but also a lot of those settings, defaults, notes, and even status information as well.